here's a fortune note run that'll challenge your mind even more <laughs> pretty cool. Lick number 85. This is a 15 odd note grouping riff. Let's check it out. Six is also 15 notes in a grouping. Let's check that out. You can see where the stuff starts getting just really insane. I mean, the more you have to try to remember to try to execute it properly. So, like I said, it's a challenge. This is a fun one. This is lick number 87. This is a combination riff that combines sevens and tens. It takes sevens ascending and tens descending. And when you get it up to speed, it's really fun. You can feel your fingers popping back and forth on your fingering hand. <laughs> Okay, that's number 88 is not only a really cool legato riff that I really like, but it'll build up your finger strength quite immensely, and it trains your mind to be able to use a combination of 10s, 9s, and 14s all together. But you want to flow as one big run. Check this out. Keep working on it. Trust me, it works. Number 89, lick number 89 combines a six and a seven note grouping together. Let's check this out. Okay. Lick number 90 is kind of a legato repeating run not really any set sort of grouping just more of something that i think flows really cool together check it out Lick number nine. 91 is a descending sevens riff that you can use to descend back down when you, once you come ascending up from somewhere and you can use it to ascend down in sevens using just up picks. Check it out. Flows pretty nice. That's just a regular modal scale lick. Lick number 91, descending sevens. Lick number 92 is ascending legato seven. Let me play that for you. It's just strict ascending sevens using a regular type of pattern. Let me play that. <laughs> Ok, 
said, that would be the ascending portion that you could use before you descend by itself. Now, let's start with a descending seven and then go into an ascending seven. And then we'll repeat it so we can just keep it going. using one pick to go up on these sevens. We're not using the double down picking. So keep that in mind. On lick number 92 and this lick, lick number 93, we're not double down picking to a cent. Keep that in mind. what makes these different. Like in a double down picking where we're doing lick number 92, lick number 92 the way it's written now is where you're just using that slam pick, that's what I call it. You just use one down stick to just slam it out. And lick number 93, you just learn how to keep it going by combining the two, ascending and descending. Okay. Lick number 94 is another setting and descending three notes of string legato position sliding type of deal where it ends up really cool sounding and it expands out a normal three note per string modal scale to where it goes a lot further let's check that out number 94 that's position sliding and like I said just using a little finger slide here and a little bit of picking there you can really get into legato and go far with it and you can figure out how all these guys that are really advanced are doing this stuff but in order to learn it you got to get into these little pieces work on them and then put them together lick number 95 is a real cool descending 13's legato lick I like using it to build my fingers up when I want to warm up quickly check it out and listen to the way when you try to count the 13, it's really challenging. Listen when I play it up to speed, you can hear me almost putting it in time. It's really cool. I have a lot of fun with that one. 